I just wanted to do a kind of like reflection video um, of 2011. So um, I had some resolutions last year and I didn't, I feel like I didn't really meet those resolutions. Um, the one that I did do was I wanted to perform more and I did do some more performances. Um, I won first place in a competition that I sang in um, for opera back in January and just round one first place, but still, first place is first place. Um, and I did take um, two acting classes in which I had tons of performing opportunities and I sang in like four recitals. So I did perform more, not in the way that I originally thought, but I did get that one checked off. But the other one's like exercise, no. Um, this is probably the year that I exercised the least in my entire life. Um, I just, I didn't do anything. I just sat around. And I think I went to the gym once. I don't know. Uh, I can't even remember, so that's bad. Um, but I didn't recycle. I didn't do any of that stuff. So I feel like I didn't really accomplish what I set out to accomplish in 2011. But at the same time, it's like, I did so much. I This was the first year that I was dependent on myself. Um, I paid for my rent, I paid for my food, I paid for my clothes, like I paid for everything myself. And going to school full time and doing um, work full time was really, really hard. This was the one of the hardest years that I've ever had in my life. But at the same time, I feel like I matured so much this year, so much, more than I thought that I ever would. Um, and part of that too is I got to go to Italy for three weeks and that experience was phenomenal. It wasn't like anything I thought it would be and just going to another country and seeing how the other world lives kind of removes you from that bubble that you put yourself in. Like we live in our own little bubble and we don't even think about what the rest of the world is going through. And so like going to Italy kind of brought me out of that in a way that I, I would have never thought it would have happened, honestly. So it's like this year was a maturing year for me, even though I didn't set out to do, I mean, I didn't do some of the stuff that I set out to do, but I did more. And I'm pretty proud of myself for 2011. I loved it. It was fun. Um, and I can't wait for 2012. A lot of stuff changes this year for me. Um, big one is I'm graduating college and I have no idea what I'm doing after I graduate. So it's like my life at this point has been planned out and now it's a giant question mark and it's terrifying and exciting at the same time. Um, I'm hoping that I get more into the new media entertainment and blogging and online stuff. Like I really want to work with online companies, stuff like that. And I want to get into this new media age and this new media business. So I'm hoping that I can do something like that. Um, and of course, I always want to do um, performance type stuff. So that'll be fun. And um, yeah, so 2012, is going to be one giant question mark and it's going to be fun and I want to do more videos of course and you know um, having started my started my fashion blog this past year I want to um, beef it up like 10 times I want to do so much I have so much awesome stuff planned I'm so excited but um, <laughs> I just can't wait to get started on all this stuff. Um, so it's kind of like after I graduate, I have a stuff I want to do. But at the same time, I have to be like, I have to make money because someone's got to pay for this apartment. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, sh I think there was something else I was going to say, but now I can't remember. Oh, well. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful new year, and I hope you guys have an awesome 2012. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.